here is another roof design idea if you have this situation and you're thinking about putting a home addition in this spot here and you could always do something like this to where you have a gable roof on this side and then it goes and dies into the hip roof here and of course this area would be flat it would plane in here along with a gable end over here and a roof drainage cricket would need to be built and then the ridge would die into the hip right here and this is a common form of construction even though this might not be something you'd want to do if you live in an area where it snows because you could end up with a large snow trap up here so if that's the case you might want to do something like this to where you extend the roof on this side and then build a new roof over here and of course this roof will plane into this area to create a flat surface over there see where everything is nice and flat nice and flat over here and of course the snow could still accumulate in the valley however it's not going to be trapped in the center there where you can see where you could get a pretty big pile of snow there and the ridge won't be dying into the ridge here and the ridge might be higher or lower depending upon the width of the structure here so for example the wider this is the higher the ridge might need to be and the smaller it is then the lower the ridge can be and you might end up with the ridge dying into an area or section of the roof lower than the existing ridge or lower than this ridge here making building this section here unnecessary so again another idea and for those of you who need to see what the roof would look like afterwards you can get a pretty good idea here if for example the lines that i had drawn in here were a little confusing here is another viewer requested video the individual sent me a house that looks something like this and they would like to put a home addition here and they were wondering how they could do the roof and in reality the roof isn't going to be that difficult for something like this and most of the time a roof like this won't be difficult to build you just got to kind of think outside the box here a little bit and to do that I'm actually going to draw the lines you will need so that you can kind of see what I'm doing here so I'm just going to draw a line from here to here straight line and then I'll draw a line from here to here and then a line from here to here a line from here to here and that is your roof and I realize a lot of people think that the hips and the valleys need to line up a specific way but that's really not going to be the case as long as the design still allows you to install the roofing shingles that you would like to and I believe the cutoff point for composition shingles is about 2 and 12 even though I wouldn't go less than 4 and 12 without doing a little more waterproofing work underneath the shingles now let's go ahead and take a look at the fascia board here to give you an idea of something that might work for you and the fascia board here can extend past a little bit along with the overhang and I just wanted to kind of give you an idea that if you did extend this past then this fascia board here could always sit on top of it and I do have other videos showing that and you could always bring the fascia board down a little further to line up with the valley here so you wouldn't have to stop it like this in this video I am going to provide you with something that you need to think about when designing a home addition or even a new house when you are worried about the position of the ridge being higher or or lower when it connects to another building and it's this simple a shorter span will have a lower ridge height and a wider span will have a taller ridge height as long as you are going to use the same roof pitch for each section of the house that is going to intersect into the other and in our example we are going to be using a 5 and 12 roof pitch along with a 10 foot wide building a 15 foot wide building and a 20 foot wide building and if we take the 10 foot wide building and then intersect it into the 15 foot wide building we are going to end up with a roof that will look something like this and a ridge that will be lower than the wider section of the building and then we're going to have the opposite effect if I take the wider span and intersect it into a shorter span so again 
15 foot wide on this section, 20 foot wide on this section, and then we're going to have a ridge that will look something like this. And this is something that messes up a lot of people. And if this isn't making sense, I went ahead and changed the color of this section of the building because this roof plane is going to continue flat or straight up to the roof ridge as this section of the roof intersects into this part of the building. So not too difficult. The shorter the span, the lower the ridge. The wider the span, the higher the ridge. Here is another home addition roof design idea. Somebody sent an example of their existing house where they have a patio, a low sloping roof here and a home like this that looks like it has a couple of home additions already added on to it and they would like to add a new home addition here and then have a gable roof here. And hopefully by the time I am finished with the video, you along with them will have a few more ideas on how you can do something like that. And for those of you who might not have understood what you were looking at in the last example, let's go ahead and provide you with another example here of how the roof and the roofing might be assembled. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at our gable roof for the patio here. And I really don't think this is going to be too difficult. You might be able to use the existing slab that you have or create something with a 45 degree angle, which is what we have here. And of course, with the house the way it is, you're probably going to end up with a situation like this where you have a small piece of fascia board here. However, let's not forget that you might be able to remove the fascia board and then bring this line up a little further and get a little creative there if you don't like that look. And for the home addition, let's go ahead and start with a gable roof on this side. And you're simply going to add the home addition and then extend this roof over the other roof to create two flat planes and a gable roof. However, on the other side, it is going to be a little more difficult. We are going to be dealing with a couple of funky sections here. Now in this example here, I brought the gable roof out to this ridge line here. You can stop the gable roof anywhere you want to. However, it's probably going to be better if it lines up with one of the ridge lines. And in my opinion, it's going to be better to line it up with the lower ridge line, even though this section right here is going to make it a little more difficult for us. And we're simply going to extend the other two sections of the roof up, which would look something like this here. So this line here will be flat. This section here will plane in with the other section of the roof and we'll end up with something that looks like this. And keep in mind that the pitch of the roof and the offsets in the building might change your design a little bit. Next up, let's take a look at this funky section that we have right here. So here we have it just kind of going over an open area. However, it can be filled in by installing a piece of fascia board or exterior finish, whatever exterior finish you're going to be using for the side of your home. Like I said, we just got a little funky area with this one here. However, everything else seems to be looking okay. A little chopped up, this roof right here seems to have a lot of zigs and zags in it. And as another option, I think this one's going to work a little better and be a little easier to build would be to install the gable end on the other side of the building. And you can always have the gable stop at the ridge line here. And if you like this design, you could always extend each one of the sections of the other roofs up to create your flat roof planes or surfaces. And of course, this design right here will provide you with three different ridges. And of course, another option for this type of building. Now, if you don't like this section right here, because it's going to require a lot more work, and this design right here actually looks the best out of all of them, in my opinion, and will require you to install a roof drainage cricket over here. Now, keep in mind that if you live in an area where it snows, this could be a snow trap. And if that's the case, you might want to choose a different design. So there it is, another video to help some of you figure out exactly how you can build 
a roof like this if you have a similar floor plan. And thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to visit our website. We have an organized list of our videos there. You might have a difficult time finding that anywhere else.